Shira Sagra Madanam was a ballet which was uh, choreographed by my late guru, Dr. Vempati Chinna Satyam Garu. Um, it was one of his most famous ballets and I happened to watch it when I was nine years old, uh, when, he was, when his troupe was performing it in Bangalore. So for me it was like watching a Broadway show in New York or London or something. It was as beautiful as that. And lucky for me, maybe it was destiny, um, his dance academy was down the lane from my house. So being a Telugu girl and having the world's best Kuchipudi dance school right down my road, um, it was a no-brainer. So my mum said, Do you, would you like to go learn over there? And I said, yes, and the rest is history. See, for me, um, animals, plants and uh, the environment is uh, a very, very uh, close subject to my heart. So, I think if I was not a dancer, I would be an environmentalist or a marine biologist or something like that. In fact, my next holiday that I'm taking is to Africa um, to go see the great uh, migration in Tanzania. So. Coming to me, uh, when I choreograph a piece, uh, more than choreographing something about um, the gods, I love choreographing things related to nature. Mother Nature is, and to represent that in my dance is something extremely um, close to my heart and that's something I love to do. So yeah, um, exploring uh, mudras, animal mudras, uh, natural mudras in dance uh, has universal appeal. It has nothing to do with religion, it has nothing to do with age, it has nothing to do with uh, lifestyle, urban, village, country, anything. Everybody can relate to plants, animals, Mother Earth. So. I think those are important things uh, to relate to through dance. Uh, I didn't want to act actually. Uh, I just always wanted to be a dancer. But I'm always curious about other forms of art. So whether it's theatre, whether it's uh, modelling, um, anything it could be. I've done lots of various things. So when uh, Revan, the director of Natyam, approached me with a bound script and he said it's about a dancer, I was extremely tempted. Other people have approached me with different uh, scripts and all that but nothing is really, never really connected to it. But this one was about the life of a dancer and he said, you know, we need to put a five minute dance at the end and then we put it up on YouTube. So that was something I could totally relate to and I was like, yes, 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 I'm totally ready to uh, get on board. So I'm blessed that I had a really cool director who uh, could come up with a subject that uh, suited me. And uh, yeah, he was, uh, I think uh, he was a very good director and he taught me how to act as well. When you perform on stage, it's a whole different ball game. What my dance teachers teach me, how you have to emote your expressions. So the way I had to bring out my emotions here were completely different. So I'm really glad that I had a good director who had natural sensibilities, who didn't want me to overact and things like that. I think we did a good job as a team. There are many women who inspire me, there are many men who inspire me. Um, some of the men that inspire me the most, actually one of the, the men that inspired me the most I would say is my father-in-law. Uh, his life journey and, uh, is, uh, is unbelievable and um, the way he is so curious about learning new things. No matter where he is, what he's doing, he's constantly um, reading a book trying to learn new subjects, new things, whether it's science, it's biology, psychology. So he's always happy, constantly. You know, he doesn't need anybody, he doesn't need anything. He just needs his books.
I think style is something that keeps evolving with time. Um, I'm talking about style in terms of the overall society that you live in and the world and everything. My take on style is that um, one, it reflects me, but I'm not just one type of person and, no, and nobody should be. I feel I'm a multifaceted person. So sometimes uh, I want to look young, I want to look girly, sometimes uh, I want to look sexy, sometimes I want to look extremely regal and traditional, sometimes I want to look sophisticated. Depending on the environment that I'm in, depending on the people that surround me, uh, I think all that is connected. I, I can't dress in isolation of just myself. When I wear a dress, I think of the environment that I'm sitting in, the people that surround me and how good that makes me feel because everything is connected. So I think I dress accordingly to my mood and to the occasion and I think everyone should learn to do that. You shouldn't get stuck to one particular style. I think you should embrace your body type, you should respect your body type and you should dress according to that as well.